You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Challenge us at Wexford Insurances, 0818 31 30 30. I'm now joined by Ward Griffin from HelpMyPC.ie. Ward, you might start by telling me a bit about your own background, please. Well, Carla is born and bred in Tremor County, Waterford. Um, went to college in WIT where I studied quantity surveying. Once I finished there, I did the usual head off, try to see a bit of the world, a bit of work, travel. After a couple of years, decided, right, it's time to come back home and uh, kick in the roots. So when you returned, you went into auctioneering. Tell me about how long you spent there and what happened for you to leave. Yeah, we set up a auction, a family auctioneering business in Tremor and Waterford uh, with my father and brother Michael. I worked in that for roughly in around 10 years. And then the unimaginable happened. The property crash kicked in. Obviously, like every other auctioneers out there, took a, a massive hit. Um, in that time, I, I was chatting with uh, with family and I decided to take time out and maybe pursue an alternative avenue. During my time out, I did a lot of researching, um, going to trade shows, uh, having a look into industry magazines, just checking out trends in other countries, what's happening, what's working, is there new ideas out there? And did a huge amount of market research online as well, just see exactly what is out there, what's working in other countries, what could I bring back to Ireland or what people would use in around the country. And where did the idea for Help My PC originate? Well, as I said, a lot, of, a lot of the research was done online, did a lot of the work off my own laptop, and uh, one day it just started grinding to a halt on me. I said, right, we better get this sorted, and dropped it into one of the multinationals, uh, handed it over about a week and a half later, got my laptop back, got a bit of a hefty bill associated with it. When I left the shop, I wasn't overly happy with what they actually done with it, it wasn't back to the way I thought it'd come back to. And then I sort of started thinking, is there is there something out there along these lines that would suit the likes of me? And obviously, time and money is precious to everyone out there. I'm like everyone else wants everything in an instant. And I came across uh, remote access software uh, while I was working in the auctioneering business. And it was the IT company introduced it to us during the, the boom. Um, in a nutshell, what it allowed them to do was free up their staff. They didn't have to send anyone out to us. They could do all uh, all manners of um, repair and online. And it worked out a lot cheaper in the long run. So I was looking at, right, this remote access software and with the public, to bring it out to the public, two and two, and that's where I first came up with the idea of having a national brand that would um, cover the whole Ireland, give uh, online computer support and repair for the normal home day-to-day user um, of the internet. So explain to me how the business model works. It's quite simple, really. Uh, We have a team of qualified technicians in our call centre and uh, all you have to do is three easy steps it's called connect repair all all you have to do is uh, call us um, talk to one of the technicians we get you to download a program from our website and from there you hand over a user id and password and one of our technicians will start carrying out the repairs or answer whatever queries you may have with your computer. So the traditional model in relation to repairing computers is that either you drop your laptop or PC into a repair centre and it stays there for a couple of weeks and you get a bill once it's repaired or alternatively somebody comes out, a man in a van comes out to your home place or business place to repair the computer. Again, time consuming from a business perspective and quite costly for the person at the other end. So what you're after doing is innovating this service for it to become an online service where somebody can have their PC dialed into from your call centre and repaired in roughly what time? On average, we we get to answer most calls there and then once they contact us. 
the average length of call would take roughly in around half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, it's a win-win situation for both parties, both us and the consumer, in the sense that we don't have to send out a technician to someone's house, have them waiting around, additional costs of the travel of getting them there. We have an instant service that you just call us up, um, we can diagnose the problem there and then, and it works out uh, affordable. I know one of the concerns that people may have in relation to using such a service is in relation to security. People have a lot of personal files on their computer and giving somebody the opportunity to dial into that computer and access information can be quite dangerous. What would you say in relation to that? I'm glad you brought that up, Card, because a lot of people are very concerned about security issues out there. Um, the user ID, when you download the program, the user ID and password, the password will always change. So it only grants us once off access um, to your computer. Another benefit is, unlike handing it over to a complete stranger for a week or so, uh, you don't know exactly what they're doing on your computer. There's an element of education involved in this, in the sense that you can sit down, you can watch in real time what one of our technicians are doing on the laptop. They have absolutely no business going into the likes personal files. What they do is just the operating system, make sure everything's working right, remove any virus threats and the likes. What have the main challenges been for you in setting this business up? Obviously, at the start, funding was a, a big issue. I had to start off the business off my own bat. Um, I looked down avenues of grant aid and likes. Didn't come to fruition as such at the start. Um, we got knocked, but... You know, when someone says no to you and you're out, you have an idea and you believe in the idea um, just because you get knocked once, it doesn't mean you give up. So I put the wind in my sails and I went, no, this is going to work. This service, no one else is offering it on a nationwide basis. I'm going for it. And I actually put my money where my mouth was and uh, started the ball rolling. And in relation to any state support, have you spoken to the County Enterprise Board or the local leader group in relation to supporting the business? I did. I contacted initially the County Enterprise Board at start. No, it didn't. It didn't happen at the very start. I got knocked on it. But as I mentioned earlier, I just drove on. I kept going. But over time, as the business started building, I went, right, what will I do? I am employing people. There are grants available out there. So I approached the County Enterprise Board again, whereas they saw that this model was working. They were happy with it. They were actually very delighted and very helpful to me. And I got grant approved for for employment grant. Ward, it's a known fact that during recessionary times, people are far more inclined to repair rather than replace. Is that your experience? Definitely is. And it's it's tried and tested even with myself. Um, when I was doing the research into what avenue to go down. In the in the boom, my laptop was about three years old. Um, if I started grinding to a halt like that, like a lot of people out there would have went, oh, this computer isn't working, let's get a new one. But nowadays, people, people are going down the route of repairing. They're not throwing out stuff anymore. They're more cautious, obviously, with their money. And it's, it's one of the key elements to the business. What's your vision for the business over the next three to five years? Well, obviously, increase employment. Um, by the end of this year, we want to double up from five to ten employees. We have absolutely no boundaries with the online service. So eventually, after we have the full nationwide market out there, uh, what we want to do is branch out and go international. So, Ward, what's the vision for the business over the next three to five years? Well, we want to create brand awareness and have Help My PC as a household name. The people out there throughout the whole country, if they have a problem with their computer, they just think, first off, Help My PC, they can sort it, they can do it remotely there and then. And what stumbling blocks do you envisage that you'll have to overcome in order to achieve that? Well, getting the name out, uh, first and foremost, will be one of the biggest issues for us. So we'll have to look down innovative ways of of getting the name out there, of getting help my PC, of creating awareness amongst the public that this company are 
reliable, it's safe, it's secure, and they're the ones to call. There's over a million households with broadband throughout the country. That's a huge market. What we look at at any one time, you're looking at at least 20% of that market have issues with their computer. What we want to do is get our name out there, make people aware that Help My PC are available, it's online, and at a touch of a button, we can sort out those problems for them. Ward, getting a message out to the mass market is expensive. How are you going to finance this? It is very expensive. Um, in getting in getting the name and the brand out there, um, what, we're, what we're looking at very shortly is going out on a funding round. Um, what that will entail is getting an investor on board um, in exchange for some equity in the business um, see if we can drum up funding for expanding taking our business onto the next level and getting the nationwide blanket which will give us the benefit of expanding our business uh, a lot faster than we would have done organically well word it's a really good example of how somebody can take a traditional business model and innovate it through integrating technology i wish you continued success with helpmypc.ie You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Think Wexford Insurances for your business insurance.